Hi friends, welcome to Circle Time. Hello, hello, how are you? Hello, hello, how are you? How are you this special day? I'm so glad you're here today. Hello, hello, how are you? I hope you guys are having a great week and you're enjoying the packet that was sent home yesterday. There's some fun things in there, including a super cool science experiment and paint to paint with. I hope you guys enjoy it. All right, let's do our counting, you guys. Yesterday was the number nine. Let's see what today is. What comes after nine? You know? <laughs> let's count, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The number ten, good. And let's do it in Spanish too. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Good work. All right, friends, we are working on the letter, what letter? W, the letter W. Do you remember what sound the letter W makes? Wah, wah, wah. The W says wah. The W says wah. Every letter makes a sound. The W says wah. Good. All right. And let's go over our words that have a W or start with W. Okay. Have you thought of any words that start with W that aren't in my list? Let me know. We have, oh, the, it's upside down. Wheel. Wheel. And window whale it's an orca whale and a wagon watermelon and warm all those things have the wah wah sound at the beginning good work all right i want to sing a song with you okay so um, I need to grab something here, but um, <laughs> we're going to sing um, about a kind of pet. It's a bunny, okay? So I have the letters of bunny right here, and I'm going to make the camera come down a little bit. There we go. And um, bunny is spelled B-U-N-N-Y, okay? So we have the letter B, U, N, N, and Y. All right, we are going to sing it just like we sing bingo. So it goes like this. Um, actually, I need to look at the actual. <laughs> oh, it's right here. There was a rabbit I once knew, and Bunny was its name. Oh, B U N N Y, B U N N Y, B U N N Y, and Bunny is its name. Oh, all right. When we sing it through once, we have to turn over the first letter. What letter is this again? B. That's right. So we're going to turn over the letter B and we're going to clap instead of saying the letter B, okay? How many times are we gonna clap? Once. There, there is a rabbit I once knew and bunny is its name, oh. U-N-N-Y, U-N-N-Y, U-N-N-Y and bunny is its name, oh. I'm trying to get this to sit up for me. Maybe that'll help. And now we're gonna turn over the second letter. What letter is this? U, the letter U. We're gonna turn that over and we're gonna clap one, two times, okay? There was a rabbit I once knew and bunny was its name, oh. N-N-Y, N-N-Y, N-N-Y and bunny was its name, oh. Now we're gonna turn over this letter N, yeah. 
All right, turn over the N. There was a rabbit I once knew, and Bunny was its name. Oh, and why? And why? And why and Bunny was its name? Oh, all right, we're gonna turn over this letter now. Do you remember what it's called? N. All right, let's turn it over, and we're gonna clap one, two, three, four times. Okay. There was a rabbit I once knew, and Bunny was its name. Oh, why? Why? Why and Bunny was its name. Oh, now we're gonna turn over the last letter. Do you remember what it is? Why? Yeah. All right, and we're gonna clap one, two, three, four, five times. All right. There was a rabbit I once knew, and Bunny was its name. Oh. And Bunny was its name. Oh. Good. I like singing songs like that. All right, friends, we are going to read a book now. And I have a, what looks like a cute book. I haven't read it yet, but it's called Scurry and Squeak, Beginning Home, Bringing Home a Guinea Pig. We had a guinea pig in a story we read the other day. And this book is by Amanda Doring Turville, and the pictures are by Andy Carter. So again, we have two people that worked on this book. One did the pictures, and one wrote the words. All right, let's see what it's about. A new guinea pig. Terrell is getting a pet big guinea pig. What kind of guinea pig will he choose? Will it be a baby or an adult? What color will it be? Will it have long hair or short hair? This says, there's a tip. Long-haired guinea pigs need regular brushing and trimming. If you don't have time to, grow your, to groom your guinea pig, choose a medium or short-haired guinea pig. Having a guinea pig is a lot of fun but it is also a lot of work. Is Terrell ready? Do you think he's ready? Mm. Choosing a guinea pig. Terrell is buying his guinea pig from a breeder. Some people buy guinea pigs from a pet store or animal shelter. Guinea pigs are happiest around other guinea pigs. If you can, get two females or two males right away. Male and female guinea pigs should not live in the same cage. Guinea pigs bought at a different time should not live in the same cage either. Hmm. Terrell makes sure the guinea pigs he pick the guinea pig he picks is healthy. A healthy guinea pig is active and curious. His eyes are bright uh, and cult clear. His hair is clean and dry, with no bald patches. The animal should let someone hold it without too much fuss. Terrell names his new guinea pig Trixie. Terrell's new guinea pig is home, but she is a little scared. Everything is new to her. Terrell puts her in her cage. He gives her a day or two to get used to the new place. Terrell talks softly to his guinea pig and he gives her a treat. Once she eats out of his hand, Terrell picks her up. He holds her firmly against his chest with both hands and he makes sure to support her rump and back legs. So he supports her bottom and her legs. Terrell feeds his guinea pig special food he buys at the pet store. The food has vitamin C. Guinea pigs need vitamin C every day. That's like in an orange. Vitamin, uh, there's vitamin C in an orange. Terrell also feeds his guinea pigs fruits and vegetables. An orange slice or a leaf of green, dark green cabbage is a nice treat. Terrell feeds his guinea pig once in the morning and once in the evening. This way, she has food to nibble on all day. Terrell gives his guinea pig fresh water with breakfast and he uses a water bottle with a metal sipper tube. So the guinea pig can drink the water out of the little tube as it drips out. 
Terrell takes a shower each morning to clean up, but his guinea pig doesn't need a shower. She grooms herself. She licks or bites her hair and smooths, and smooths it with her front feet. Every three months, Terrell helps his mom and dad bathe his guinea pig. Terrell gently brushes his guinea pig once a week, and he uses a small brush from the pet store. His parents clip the guinea pig's claws once a month. Terrell cleans his guinea pig's cage at least once a week. First, he puts his guinea pig in an empty box. He asks his mom or dad to watch her. Then he scoops the dirty bedding out of the cage. With a damp cloth and a stiff brush, Terrell cleans the bottom of the and sides of the cage. He waits for the cage to dry. Then he puts in two to three inches um, of new bedding. Terrell uses bedding from, the recy from recycled paper. Hay, aspen wood, shavings, and crushed corn cobs also make a good bedding. Guinea pigs need checkups just like people do. Shortly after getting his guinea pig, Terrell takes her to the veterinarian. They, the vet answers all of Terrell's questions about caring for his pet. Once a week, Terrell gives his guinea pig a checkup too. He makes sure that her eyes and nose and ears are clean. He makes sure her claws aren't too long and he checks her hair for bald patches. Terrell keeps his guinea pig cage in his room and the cage is away from doors and windows that can let in cold air. Guinea pigs are generally quiet animals and they sleep at night. Terrell hears his guinea pig move in her cage the first few nights, but he gets used to it very soon. Guinea pigs are great pets. Terrell loves his new guinea pig and takes good care of her. Having a healthy, happy friend for five to eight years is worth the hard work. And then this talks about the guinea pig's ears and eyes and where their whiskers are, their teeth, their tail, and their toes. Lots more information. There's other little bits of information in the book too um, for people that are getting a brand new guinea pig and they might need some more help or information about their guinea pig. Um, okay, so friends, that's our story time for today or our circle time for today. I'll see you again tomorrow, okay? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Bye, guys.